Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Libra and your intuition. Why is it blocked and why you can't connect, right? So if you're, ha if you're struggling and you're having a hard time connecting to your intuition, you feel like you just don't know what the hell is happening um, and you want it so bad, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Um, you know, I was inspired to do this spread because... Oh, that's awesome. Um, I was inspired to do this spread because I have a workshop coming up to activate your third eye and your crown chakra. And you know, like I do Reiki and stuff and the monthly readings are up so you can check that on the, on the page. But um, yeah, we're going to activate your third eye and your crown chakra, which are the two chakras that leads you to your intuition. Your third eye leads you to like is your higher self, your intuition, and then your crown chakra is really to connect to the divine energy. So it's going to be amazing, but I didn't just stop there. I'm putting in how to connect, how it feels like. So we're, we're going to go through a bunch of things on clearing your chakra, um, you know, meditations, protecting your energy, uh, learning how we're going to activate, and then we're going to learn how to use it after activating it. And you're going to have this video so that you can go back to it anytime that you want to do it again and again to, you know, really kind of um, make it powerful and impactful. And, you know, like I always say, it's like, a you know, working it out. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. So if you want to participate, if you want to join, go ahead and click the links below in the description and in the comments. And um, it's going to be at the end of March. And if you are seeing this after that, you could just check out the website and you'll see it on there. Okay. All right. So you've got the romance card. So, you know, when this comes out in this type of reading, I'm going to say that, you know, maybe why you're blocked is that maybe you're with somebody. Okay. And remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But, you know, maybe you're with somebody that doesn't believe in all this stuff. And you're kind of scared as to where that's going to lead. Like if you jump down the spirituality path and you, you know, open up your intuition and your third eye and your crown chakra, you activate it. Like, where is this going to lead with my relationship? You know, am I going to have to leave the person that I'm with? And that's not true because a lot of times when you open your spirituality, you know, the person you're with, like they could either stay where they are or they can come with you excuse me, and even if they stay where you are or stay where they are, it doesn't mean that you have to leave them, right? We all have different hobbies. Like maybe, you're, maybe your significant other likes golf or baseball. Like it doesn't mean you do. It doesn't mean you do. But I will tell you, when you start to open this up, they're going to see a change in you and they're going to want it too. So don't worry so much about who you're with. And some of you, if you're not with someone, could worry about like someone like me where it's like, who the hell is going to want to be with me when I'm reading tarot and have a YouTube channel, right? Who, who's going to want to date me? Well, I will find that person and so will you. So do what you feel is good because that's already using your intuition. Don't worry about what other people are going to think. And here, this is why I said was awesome. If you believe, if you believe, you have to believe. You have to have faith here. And then once you have faith, there, you, you're, like, this is the best thing about it is that there's confirmation. It's not like you just believe in God, but there's like no confirmation. Or um, you believe that there's unicorns, but you never see one, right? It's like, I guess God was a bad example. Unicorns. Like say you believe in unicorns, but you've never seen one. Well, once you open that third eye and crown chakra, you're going to know that all this shit is not fake. You're going to feel it. You're going to know. You're going to, you're going to hear you. You're going to connect to your spirit guides. I say connect because all of us are going to connect in a different way. But if you're looking to connect with that spirit guide, like the workshop is for you. If you're looking to heighten your intuition and be able to really trust it, you believe in it, right? This workshop's for you, but you have to believe. You have to believe until proven. And then once you prove it, it's like, you know, time and time, I'm still in awe sometimes where I'm like, really? Seriously? Wow. Like that happened? Like, wow. And it's just confirmation. So this is something that can be proven to you. You can't prove it to anybody else, but you can prove it to yourself because you will know how you're connecting and you will know the things that are happening around you and you can put it together. And that's just the wonderful thing. So, okay. Anyway, um, ask for help from others. 
So this might need that this might mean that you need to reach out and that you might need to get help from others because you might not understand it completely right now. And you might need a guide. You might need somebody to hold your hand through the connection process for the first time and explain to you how it's going to be, how it's going to feel and how it's not going to feel because a lot of the times we, you know, um you know, we think that it's going to look one way, but it looks completely other. I just had a session with someone like that. And it was like, wait, you're looking for something that you already have. Like, you're just not seeing it. So then I explained to them how this works. And they're like, oh, and it was like a light bulb. So um, you might need help from somebody to help you explain how it all works and what you're supposed to be feeling. Okay, because everyone's different. And you can't compare yourself, you know, you can't compare yourself to anybody else because you're going to feel it differently. Um, all right. So we have exhaustion, divine helpers. So when you're tired, you can't connect because when you're tired, I mean, let's get real. When you're tired, all those negative thoughts start seeping in. They're easier. You know, that ego has an easier time to get on you. Um, when you're tired, it's like you try to meditate, you fall asleep. Um, so get the sleep that you need. You know, when you're connecting, you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and your body. And, um, and I'm not saying like a hundred percent, but at least like, you know, anywhere between 60 and 75%, you cannot be drinking all the time. You cannot be, um, you know, staying up all night because it's not going to lead to a connection just because, you're so exhausted and sometimes you're in a different energy space. And when you connect, it's like you have to raise your vibrations in order to match theirs. So get some rest, get some sleep, okay? You've got the loss card as well. And the, it says healer guides. So for some of you here, you might have lost something. You might have lost a person, an ex. You might have lost a job. You might have, oh, it's 5.55 right now, guys. Um which means get rid of your old habits, right? Form new habits, new patterns. Don't go back to the way things used to be. Anyway, so that was a little bonus for you. <laughs> um, but loss, you know, like if we're grieving, you know, if we're grieving something because we lost something, that's really going to affect your connection because you're more focused on something else than you are in the present moment and connecting and really trying to hear and feel. Sometimes this leads to desperation, and desperation, you're not going to do it, right? And I'm, just, I'm saying you're not, but, you know, it's, I don't know, 80% of the time, 90%, I don't know, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Not 100% of the time, but I'm sure there's people that are going through losses that can still connect, but they probably are further along on their journey. If you're just beginning and starting out here, um, it's going to be harder for you to connect. And then you have creativity here. Create, creativity guides. Um... So for some of you here, this is going to mean that you might connect when you're in the zone of creativity. You might connect more when you're painting. Um, they're telling me automatic journaling. So this is how I first started out actually was like I always journal and um, I would close my eyes and see what I got and then I would just start writing. And the messages that came out were not anything that I would ever say. You know, it's not my language, definitely. So you might connect better when you're being creative, whatever that means to you, making music, writing books, writing, um, singing, what, whatever, painting, what, whatever that is for you, creativity. Um, that might be a better zone for you to, to tune in, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, again, the workshop will be great for you if you really want to make that decision to get get this done, you know, because if you've been struggling with this for a long time, this workshop's going to help you. I wouldn't put it out there if I didn't believe and I didn't know that it will help you. Um, and I love that you have it to go forward with. So because again, every step you take, this will push you to the next level. So where you're at now will push you up where you're at, then it will push you up more. So it's not just like a beginner's thing. This is a full out activation 
You can activate it at any time and you can activate it going forward no matter where you're at, okay? So um, I hope this resonates with you. Leave me comments below. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if this resonates with you, how it resonates. And also if you have any questions on your intuition, um, what, what are you stuck with? Because I wanna make sure I put it into the workshop as well. Um, tell me what you're stuck with so I can answer your questions, all right? Um, yeah, so check out the monthly readings. I'll be putting April out soon and much love to you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.